Last year, I decided to start selling digital downloads on Etsy. In fact, I have shifted my focus more towards Etsy and only sporadically upload designs on Redbubble. This is because I feel that Redbubble is a dying company and there is not too much future for it. This is why I will be creating more content about Etsy on this channel and I hope you will enjoy it. I will try to show you some interesting niches where you can start selling. Additionally, I will provide you with simple tips to increase your sales and all related content that focuses on selling digital products. If you are asking yourself why you should start selling digital downloads on Etsy, let me tell you that it is a great way to make money online. Moreover, it's relatively easy to get started. In fact, digital downloads are files that customers buy and download from your Etsy shop. They can be all kinds of files like templates, printable artwork, photos, music or video files. Anything you can create on a computer can be turned into a digital download to sell. The cool thing is that it costs almost nothing to sell them and they never run out of stock. You just keep selling copies of your files over and over. So why should you sell these files on Etsy? Of all the sites where you can sell digital downloads, Etsy is one of the best. Tons of people shop on Etsy every day looking for unique items. Last year alone, Etsy has over 90 million buyers. So you have instantly got access to a giant group of buyers. Another reason Etsy is great for sellers is that you don't have to build your own website. Etsy gives you everything you need, an online shop, payment processing and marketing tools. All you have to do is to add your products. It just makes the whole process so much easier, especially when you're just getting started. Ok, so now you know that digital downloads can be great products to sell online and Etsy gives you an instant audience of buyers. But what exactly should you sell? The key is to find a digital product idea in a popular niche, one with buyers actively looking to spend money. That way, you know there is demand. Some hot niches good for beginners are papercraft templates, coloring pages, recipe ebooks, workout planners, budgeting templates, homeschool resources, font and graphics. I recommend you to take some time to explore Etsy to find trending niches that look interesting to you. Once you are picked a winning product idea, it is time to build a shop around it. If you are a new seller, I highly recommend you to find a niche and create your digital products about this niche. Once you know which niche you want to enter, it is time to create a shop. Luckily, signing up for Etsy shop only takes a few minutes and it's free to open an account. And you don't even need to have any finished product yet. You can launch your empty shop now and add the goods later. The process is so easy that I will not show you how to create a shop. Just follow the instruction, but be sure to give your shop a clear and easy to remember name. It is a good practice to include keywords that describe what you sell in the name of your shop. For example, if you are selling print table wall art, try something like the print table wall art shop. You also need to write an intro paragraph in your shop announcement, letting buyers know what you offer. And don't forget a shop profile picture, a logo or shop representing your products look professional. Now it's time to show you how you can upload and activate your first digital download listing. I highly recommend to have at least 8 or 10 active listings when you start your Etsy shop. Enough variety that shoppers and Etsy take you seriously. Creating a product listing on Etsy is just like filling out a digital form. Simply go to the shop manager, click on the listings option in the left sidebar and then select the add a listing option in the upper right corner. Now you have two options, either you create a listing for physical items or for digital files. For selling digital products, click on the digital files, then in the who made it section, select I did. In the next step, go to the what is it section and select a finished product. The last important section is when was it made. Here, select the recently and 2020 
till 2024 year. Now click continue and you will be taken to the new listing interface. Here you need to add a title for your product. I highly recommend creating a title full of keywords that describe the product you are selling. For example, if you are selling a digital planner for small business owners, write something like digital planner for small business, editable in Excel and Google Sheets instant download. Just an idea for the title you can write. Once you have the title, you should upload photos for your listings. These photos will be displayed in your listings and one of them will be used as a thumbnail. So take the time to create a thumbnail that stands out because it is the first thing the customers will see. In the next section, you will need to upload your digital files. Once you have uploaded them, people can then download them directly from Etsy servers without any additional steps from you. The next important section you need to fill out is the description. Here, you need to write a listing description that will convince uncertain visitors to buy. While photos provide the visuals, use your words to explain the product details and benefits. So, address critical questions and concerns a buyer might have. So, for example, exactly what's included in the downloaded package, what formats are the files, how will the templates, graphics or plans benefit the customers, can files be edited or customized, or is there any unlimited personal use? Remember to use casual language your customers use, stay away from fancy marketing buzzwords. Relate to readers as much as possible with helpful information. The right description helps them picture owning and enjoying your digital product already. Now it's time to move to the pricing for your digital download. In fact, picking the right price for your digital products on Etsy is important. Price too high and few people will buy from an unknown seller. Price too low leaves money on the table. Finding the sweet spot takes time and experience. Luckily, there is an easy formula. Look out on the best sellers in your product niche. Check how much the top competition charges for a similar digital product. Take the average price and match it closely with your own pricing. This automatically tells you an ideal rate that buyers already pay for downloads like yours. As you get sales and reviews, you can experiment with rising prices over time. But start by fitting in with proven top sellers. Once you have set a price, you can set the quantity to 999, as this is the maximum amount allowed by Etsy. Let's move to another section. This category is here for you to add your listing to certain related categories, make it easier for buyers to find. Click on the Add Category button and type your product type into the search bar. Then choose the most related category to your product. The next important section we will need to fill out is the Tag section. Here you need to add keywords that will help buyers to find your listing on Etsy. To find relevant tags, I prefer using pay tools like Allura. This tool can show you related keywords that people are searching for. However, if you don't want to invest in such tools, I have some advice for you. Just think as a buyer. Think about the keywords that will type into the search bar. Consider the tags as keywords and include all of them in the design and section. For simple digital products like planners, vectors or fonts, there is no need to fill out any other sections. The last thing you need to do is to set the renewal option to automatic which means your listing will automatically charge you 20 cents every four months to keep the listing activate in the shop. However, when you click publish, you will be charged 20 cents to immediately activate your listing on Etsy. This is a just small fee that you have to pay each time you create a new listing. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to start selling digital download products on Etsy. As you can see, it's realistic to launch your own profitable Etsy shop with just a small time investment. Choose trending digital products people want, set up eye-catching listing, and then it's time to promote your shop to get sales roll in. Stick with it. 
provide Fsum products and grow your new Etsy business over time. So I hope you have found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the comment section and I will do my best to provide a reply.